Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Lou Rodriguez. Thank you for joining me on the Unstoppable Mind podcast. I'm a master hypnotherapist and a subconscious transformation expert. I have been called a mindset ninja, a brain coach, and I've also been known as a secret weapon because I've helped thousands of people realize their subconscious limitations and I've helped them to overcome those limitations. By listening to this podcast, you are going to build unstoppable confidence, belief, and trust within yourself. My goal is to help you have an unstoppable mind and to empower you to reclaim your personal power. And when you do, you will begin to heal, expand, awaken, and live your unstoppable life. Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the Unstoppable Mind podcast. I'm your host, Mary Lou Rodriguez. And today we are going to talk about self-talk. The podcast is titled, Hell no to negative self talk. And that's because our self talk matters. My intention is that you understand the power of self talk and that you understand that what you say to yourself and what you think every single day literally wires into your brain and it becomes the way that you think automatically. And this is, and I really want you to hear this, how we wire our brain for success or failure. So if you've listened to my podcast, and gosh, I hope you have, you know that my goal is to teach you to live an unstoppable life. And this starts with your beautiful mind. So many, many of you understand that your subconscious mind is programmed between the ages of zero and seven. I am going to do a future podcast on the subconscious mind only. But what I want you to know for today is that it records what you see and what you heard growing up. So what you saw and what you heard growing up during the first seven years. And then what it does is it plays like a loop back to you for the rest of your life. And what that means is that if you were programmed with information that isn't empowering, and most of us weren't, then that disempowering loop, that program plays over and over and over again, keeping you stuck. All of those messages that we were programmed with growing up, like, I'm not good enough, I don't belong. I don't matter. Those are the messages that you are giving to yourself consciously or unconsciously. And another way to say that is what we get programmed with, what we get conditioned with as we grow up, we end up living out those programs. Any of those messages that are repeated often enough are wired into our brain. Neuroscience tells us that our thoughts clearly affect how successful we are going to be at anything, at relationships, classes, school, life, love, business, your job. And everyone asks me all the time, Mary Lou, what's your big secret? How come you can have so much transformation so quickly? And it's not a secret because I tell everyone and I will tell you this. So I want you to listen up. The big secret is how you think. Those of us who realize that we can rewire our brain like me, and I'm sharing this with you, we wire our brain by what we say and by how we talk to ourselves. So it's a big freaking deal. And when you're saying something in your mind or out loud, which is self-talk, and then repeating it over and over again, whether it's positive or negative, it gets stored in the brain. 
we think 60 to 70,000 thoughts a day. And 90% of those thoughts are the same thoughts that we thought the day before. So if you're thinking thoughts like I'm not good enough and I don't matter and I'm not smart enough, I hate life, whatever it is, through repetition, you are wiring that into your brain. These thoughts that are not serving you. You're wiring into your brain the things that you don't want. And that's what I was doing. I was, before I understood self-talk and neuroscience, I was constantly telling myself who I couldn't be and who I couldn't become over and over and over again without realizing it. So I want you to know how powerful it is, the words that you speak and the thoughts that you think, because I was wiring into my brain without realizing it, that I couldn't be successful in life, that I couldn't have the love that I wanted, that I couldn't have the business that I wanted, because I was constantly telling myself that, and I didn't realize it. So that negative self-talk is a bunch of BS. It's a bunch of BS. And I really want you to hear that. I want to invite you to take your power back and to start telling yourself that you're a badass or whatever it is that you want to believe about yourself. Understanding that through repetition, it can work for you. Just like it can work against you, repetition can work for you. So the key to training your brain is telling yourself what you want to believe. Repetition, repetition, repetition. And that's because when we first hear a message, the brain will hold on to it. It'll record it, but it won't store it permanently until it hears it again. And the beginnings of a neural network, I mean, it just, it's starting to form in the brain, the beginnings of that neural network, and it gets a little bit stronger each time you repeat something empowering. And then the brain gets the message because it's repeated this empowering self-talk over and over and over again. And the brain's job is to conserve energy. And so if it hears something enough times, it's going to say, hey, Mary Lou, not literally, but hey, Mary Lou, you said this enough times, you believe this. And that neural network is essentially getting fed. It's becoming stronger and stronger and healthier and healthier. And that's what repetition does. So if we have self-talk, that's not working for us. And if we have self-talk that is negative self-talk, that sends us in the wrong direction. And it can cause us to fail or to fear, to not even get started on our dreams, which is something that I've talked about in a previous episode. The brain doesn't know the difference between self-talk that works for us and self-talk that works against us. It simply follows the self-talk that is repeated and recorded in our brain most often. So the thing that you tell yourself the most wins. Okay? And do you ever wonder why some people just excel and they do really well while other people just have lots of problems and struggles. What I want you to do, what I want to invite you to do is listen to the way that they speak, because that will tell you everything. And it's the same thing for ourselves. All we really have to do is listen to our own self-talk, becoming conscious of those thoughts. And I invite you to do it for two to three days, and then you'll really understand why life is working for you or why it's not. Negative self-talk is counterproductive. It's harmful and it works against us. 
And because so many people are just on autopilot, we literally get up in the morning, we check our phones, we check our emails, we check Facebook Messenger, we check WhatsApp, and that's how we start our day without setting our intention, practicing gratitude, without telling our brain how we want to think. So for me, I practice gratitude every morning. I set my intention and then I train my brain with hypnosis or affirmations or visualization. Otherwise, and I see this a lot with my clients, they get up, they jump right into their day without being in that place of calmness, peace, and without being focused. And when you're not in that place, typically you're starting your day, not always, but for most people, they start the day with stress or anxiety. And then what happens is that you just begin to react to life, to circumstances. And this used to be me. And I never took responsibility for my life. I'm going to do another episode on taking responsibility. And that included how I would start my day. And then for me, all day long, I'd be reacting to circumstances, being a victim to my circumstances, constantly giving away my inner peace. So I want you to know that the way that we react to our circumstances is based on those unconscious programs, those automated thoughts that we have in our brain. And self-talk is a way of overriding that, bringing us back into our default state of calmness, of inner peace. And while we're consciously making choices to override that negative self-talk, we're also rewiring those old programs, taking them off autopilot so that we can feel unstoppable. And that's what positive self-talk is designed to do. And I want you to remember that it's not your fault. It's just what you know. It's just what you knew. And now you're ready to learn something different. And when you learn positive self-talk, and when you say hell no to negative self-talk, you're wiring a new program into your brain. And if you're someone who has the habit of negative self-talk, which is something that I did for a long time and I never knew how harmful it was, I want to invite you to change, to change the way you think and to change the way that you speak to yourself. And to assist you in changing your negative self-talk, I've created a positive self-talk, train your brain recording, and I want to gift it to you for free. It's my way of serving and changing the world. So you can access this free positive self-talk, train your brain recording in the show notes, and you're going to want to listen to it for 30 days, and you're going to want to repeat your new positive statements, your new self-talk throughout the day over and over and over until it becomes a part of the way that you think. And I know that for some of you, repeating something that is not real yet may seem silly to you, but I'm teaching you a tool that is a total game changer. Because this tool, positive self-talk and this brain training tool will rewire your brain and you're going to think differently and you're going to feel differently and you're going to feel unstoppable. So I want you to tag me in my socials. I just opened up a TikTok account uh, called <laughs> it's Mary Lou hypnotizes you and Tag me on my socials at um, Instagram. I'm at Mary Lou hypnotizes you. And on Facebook, I'm Mary Lou Rodriguez, but I want you to tag me and share with me your new positive statement. I want to hear, and I want to read about how your self-talk is changing until then 
go out there and live your unstoppable life. I would love if you shared today's episode with your friends and loved ones. Please share it on your social media channels and make sure to subscribe to the podcast. I believe that we are all here to help others. Together, we can help more people. I would be so grateful for a five-star review. And I'm also grateful that you took the time to let me know how this podcast is helping you. If you want more transformational content, connect with me on Instagram at Mary Lou Hypnotizes You. And then go over and join my Facebook group, The Unstoppable Mind. Visit MaryLouRodriguez.com for more information on my programs and how to work with me. Until the next time, go out there and live your unstoppable life.